we should get our final go for launch here from the launch director in just, a, just a few seconds. Startup. Dragon is in startup. Go for launch. There we have the call for go for launch. You also may see water beginning to flood the launch pad at about 18 seconds to go. It's very normal. That's part of the sound suppression system, all part of the, the engineering seconds. of launch. That's 15 seconds. 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Engines ignition, liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Cargo Dragon, transporting critical research to enable living and working in Earth orbit and in deep space. Vehicle supersonic. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. A couple big calls there. Again, all normal, all nominal, and progressing as expected, flying through the densest part of the atmosphere. Recovery AOS. Back engine chill. It's a call for chilling this the second stage engine. Investigation. Stage one, boost back burn is starting. So very significant calls there, uh, successful separation of the first stage from the second stage. The second stage there you see on screen uh, with the red hot engine that is now active and taking Dragon towards its or correct orbit. And we saw the, the boost back burn begin and hear that call as well. So the Falcon is headed towards the drone ship there again off the coast of Jacksonville. Stage one, boost back burn is shut down. Right now you're seeing the camera kind of flipping and essentially you're seeing uh, two camera views, one off, oh you actually just see the nose cone flew past there. Um, that's a nominal jettison of the nose cone. There that's a, it's a shot from the first stage. There's the hypersonic grid fins expanding to help control, uh, to help steer essentially uh, this rocket towards the drone ship. Trajectory. Uh, 
acquisition of Signal Bermuda. So again, on that, on that second stage engine, you're seeing two camera views, one on either side of that engine. It's a great side-by-side. -side. Again, the primary objective today is to get Cargo Dragon to its correct orbit, and the secondary objective is to recover that Falcon booster landing on, of course, I still love you, about 185 nautical miles off the coast of Jacksonville. The camera on the left, I believe, is actually inside the top of the first stage. So you're getting kind of a view, uh, a look at the top of that. Stage two continues on nominal trajectory. Again, we use that term nominal. That essentially, ju essentially just means that we're within the expected and appropriate range where we should be. So that all that means is that everything is going according to plan. All right, so a lot of work done, a lot more to go. We are still not there yet. We have to kind of progress through the spacecraft deploy, solar array deploy, and check out to make sure everything is in good order. But that is going to do it for us, uh, for myself, from here in Hangar AE at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station uh, Mission Director Center. So it's been a pleasure being with you today. Uh, thanks so much. And I'm going to send it over to Andy in SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, Calif Cal excuse me, Hawthorne California. Andy? Thanks, Joshua. In order to land our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean, the first stage ne needs to execute a series of three burns. The first is a boost back burn, which is meant to slow the rocket down and reorient it, reorient it for re-entry. That just completed a few seconds ago. Next is the entry burn, where Falcon 9 slows itself down before, it, before hitting the dense parts of the atmosphere. Without this second burn, relying solely on the atmosphere to slow down Falcon 9 will put unnecessary strain on the rocket. We should, hopefully we can see some footage of that coming up shortly. The third and final burn is the landing burn, and there's the, the shot of the entry burn. Uh, the third and final burn is the landing burn, which happens just before touchdown. It provides the booster a soft descent to attempt landing, and this is also when the four landing legs were deployed. Probably, uh, we're probably about a minute away from beginning that landing burn. Uh, let's keep an eye on screen to see if we can see those engines relight. For this this final burn, Falcon 9 uses just a single Merlin engine, the center engine, engine number nine. On the left-hand screen, you see a shot of the second stage continuing its journey into orbit. And on the right-hand side, it's a, a view from the top of the first stage. Those Griffins are helping to guide the first stage back to a targeted landing. Stage one, landing burn has started. And we did get confirmation that the landing burn did just start. That's a view from our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. As we get closer, watch for those landing legs to deploy. Acquisition of signal in New Hampshire. Stage one, landing legs have deployed. Looks like we may have lost the link of the footage. So we're listening in to see if we can Stage get one has landed. Recovery yeah. operators yeah. 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 Recovery yeah. One yeah. Yeah. And yeah. touchdown of Falcon 9 on our drone ship. Of course I still love you. You can certainly hear the excitement uh, here at SpaceX. Congratulations to the entire SpaceX team for another successful landing. For those keeping track, this is first stage recovery number 46. Um, back to our primary mission. The second stage is still continuing its journey into its desired orbit. We should be hearing call-outs for second engine cutoff very shortly here. And good second engine cut cutoff. Now we're waiting for call-outs of a good orbit. 
It sounds like we do indeed have a good orbit. Up next is deployment Dragon of separation. Dragon from that second stage. When Dragon separates from the second stage, we get please. a glimpse inside of Dragon's trunk. Dragon carries two types of cargo, pressurized cargo inside of the capsule and unpressurized cargo in its trunk. On the outside of Dragon's trunk are two protective fairings for Dragon's solar arrays. The arrays produce more than five kilowatts of power and help recharge Dragon on its mission. At this point, we are about 20 seconds, 10 or 20 seconds away from Dragon separation. So let's listen in for the call-outs. 